Hi, and welcome to another edition of Your Health with Dr. Christie. My name is Dr. Christie Reisinger, and today I'd like to discuss Wagovi and its use for cardiovascular risk reduction. On March 8th, the FDA announced that in addition to using Wagovi for weight loss, Wagovi was also approved for cardiovascular risk reduction for patients with known cardiovascular disease to reduce the risk of cardiovascular death, stroke, and heart attacks in patients that were obese or overweight. This recommendation was based on the SELECT trial. I'll put a link in the description about a video that I did about this trial a little bit earlier with more specifics, but basically the SELECT trial was a really well done study with over 17,000 patients that showed a 20% reduction of cardiovascular events including heart attacks, strokes, and death from cardiovascular disease in patients that used semaglutide, also known as Wagovi. Insurance companies are very reluctant to cover Wagovi simply as an anti-obesity medication, but I have hope that now that the FDA has approved Wagovi also for cardiovascular risk reduction, that we'll see more approvals. I wanna coach you all to help you figure out if you are a good candidate for approval for Wagovi. And I think we can figure out what criteria the insurance companies are gonna require based on the criteria that was in the select trial. The trial showed that the patients that benefited were 45 years or older, patients that did not have diabetes, meaning that they had a hemoglobin A1C of less than 6.5 and were not on any diabetic medications, a BMI greater than or equal to 27, and they had had a history of a heart attack, stroke, or had symptomatic peripheral arterial disease. So if you meet that criteria, go talk to your doctor and ask whether you are a candidate for Wagovi. Now the next barrier is cost and also simply getting and finding the medication. The lower doses of Wagovi are terribly hard to find right now, and I have many, many patients that just simply can't find it. I've done multiple videos on the safety of compounded medications like semaglutide, which is the active pharmaceutical ingredient in Wagovi. That could be a good alternative to Wagovi while we're waiting for more supplies to come in. I would recommend that you move forward with getting your Wagovi prescription from your doctor and move forward with the authorization and approval by your insurance company. You'll receive approval for a certain period of time, usually it's multiple months. And then in the meantime, consider starting compounded semaglutide to fill that gap. And then once the lower doses of Wagovia are available, you could simply switch over to the same dose in Wagovi of what you're currently taking as a compounded semaglutide. One thing to note is that in the SELECT trial, they rapidly titrated up the Wagovi. Every four weeks, they would increase the dose to the max dose of 2.4 milligrams. The goal was to get up to the max dose of 2.4. So interestingly enough, insurance companies may demand that you actively continue to go up on the medication in order to mimic the SELECT trial. In my personal experience, I do not rapidly titrate up medications like Wigovi and semaglutide. I really take a much slower approach because I feel like patients have fewer side effects, especially gastrointestinal side effects when I do that. But I just don't know what's gonna happen with that as insurance companies are going to try to avoid paying for these medications. At the end of the day though, I do recommend that if you think you qualify for the Wigovi, if you're over the age of 45, if you do not have diabetes, if you've had a heart attack, stroke, have peripheral artery disease, and you have a BMI greater than or equal to 27, go talk to your doctor, get that prescription for Wigovi, get it approved by your insurance, and then in the meantime, consider using compounded semaglutide. Thanks for joining me.